So I have a video out already about how to French braid, and so I thought I would make a video on how to Dutch braid. Um, they're very similar braids, one is just the opposite of the other. I first learned how to Dutch braid, and it seemed like I, well, I was trying to French braid, but I ended up with a Dutch braid accidentally. So um, learning how to French braid was a little bit more of a challenge for me, but um, I figured that out. Um, and then I gave you my video, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do a Dutch braid so that you can try that one out. Um, so, you're going to grab some hair from on top here. You can start with that, whatever amount of hair you want. Okay, so split the hair into three pieces and then bring one side underneath the middle. So I'm going to start with my left. I'm going to bring my left side underneath. Then I'm going to bring my right side underneath the middle. And then I'm going to bring my left side underneath the middle and I'm going to hold it with my scissor fingers. And then I'm going to add to my scissor fingers. And then I'm going to bring the right side underneath and instead of scissor fingers on this side I've got my first, my forefinger and my thumb holding the section that I'm going to add to. So then I'm going to add to that and then scissor fingers. I don't know why I do opposite on either, on, on either hand. It's just the way that I've learned how to do it. So I'm going to keep adding as I go. adding to the to the one on the outside and bringing it underneath and continue till you get to the end And then just continue with a Dutch braid. Braid down as far as you can before you flip it over to the other side of your shoulder because it's easier to uh, keep those nape hairs from being pulled if you don't pull it over to the side too soon. So then I'm just going to switch it over here and go because I can't go very much further. Um, and then I'm going to continue with my braiding. Until I get to the ends. I'll tie it off with one of my little invisible silicone ouchless elastic bands. And I have a rogue hair sticking out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But I'm going to not worry about it because um, what I'm going to do with my style now, because I don't like having my braid rubbing against my clothes all day long, is I'm going to make it into a folded braid. So the way you do that is you take it up, you tuck it under and then if you have enough length then you tuck it under again and you tuck it until you've got it tucked enough to tuck it all in here. Did I use the word tuck enough times? <laughs> and then you take uh, whatever you're going to hold it with. I like to hold it with a Ficar Maximus clip. Oh, and this is a new one. I haven't showed it to you guys. This is a medium... Uh, my light isn't good here. Um, a medium leopard? I think it was a leopard one. Car and I got another one. This is a medium royal blue. Um, I think they called it the Snake Jewel Collection. Anyway, like it, very pretty. Um, so I think I'll use the giraffe 
I mean, yeah, was it giraffe or leopard? Anyway, whatever it is, I'm going to use this one in my hair today. So I'm just going to hold it across here and clasp it over the top, and there you go. I've got it done. And just to check and see how it looks. Very, very good, and it's very secure and extremely comfortable. The um, Ficar Maximus clip is excellent in its comfort. Um, so, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I could show you some other styles to do with your braid once you've got it braided, but that should do for today. <laughs> so, um, enjoy, and hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.